What's up people, I'll be Brian Jones here from RBJ Creative Studio and today I'm going to teach you how to use gradient maps in your designs, in your pictures and everything. So first, let's head into it. Okay, so um, first of all, you open your Photoshop. That's, um, uh, for me, I'm using Photoshop um, CC, that's 2019. So you open your Photoshop and whatever you want to apply the gradient map, the gradient map, sorry, to it i mean you just open it so here i want to apply the gradient map to the background of this image i've already um taken out the image like i've, I've taken out the background from the image so like we have i have like two um, um layers here so what you have to do is you need to apply the gradient map on the image that's the lower part so what you have to do is you move on to your effects that's this button right here you click on it and you look for gradient map so as you hit on it you can see that um, it gives you this kind of um, um, a gradient selection um, of your colors and everything so you click on it then you come here and choose the colors that you want to use for the gradient so um, for me I want to use red so I'll just choose red here and I'll come and choose a very deep red to here so um, that's it and one thing you should know um if you want to get in let's say you want um you want an inversion in a gradient map you have to bring one let's say let me choose let me make this one more deeper you have to bring this side to the right side and this also to the other side yeah and more times you would have to make sure the gradient that you're about to use there's there's let's say a light in it so you don't have to, it, it doesn't have to necessarily um, be um, um, two deep colors. It should be one deep color and one um, bright color. So let's say I go in for blue. As you can see, the background looks, I mean, it looks very cool because I chose a deeper color and a lighter color. So instead of um, this um, um, kind of red here, I can even choose a lighter color and look at the kind of background it gives me yeah let me go in for a green part two so this is how the gradient map works so if i'm to if i'm to change the color for let's say my picture this is how you, you this is how you want to do it and you have to make sure the gradient map is it's, it's beneath the background that you want to get the effect on so right now if i take the gradient map um on top of the one that i you see this is how it works and you don't want it like this but then sometimes you can also i, I don't know it, it, it's it's like a personal preference so for me that is what i want so first of all let's move on to something different so i have a work that um i want to overlay the whole gradient and everything let's say um which 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 uh, okay let's go in for this one is going for this one all you have to do is make sure it's a deeper color and a lighter color it doesn't have to be um, 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 a bright color and a bright color or a dark color and a dark color it's a dark color and a light color so let's open our image real quick and um, apply this one to it okay this is our image so for this one um, I think I've already bitmapped the image and everything it, it's a jpeg right here so i don't have access to the background i have access though but then i want us to be done with this whole thing so you move on to the effects hit on the gradient map and there you have it the gradient applies to the world. but then you have to make sure you are choosing a lighter part so as you can see the, the moment you choose the lighter part you can see that um, um, the effect works very well on the on the on the image and that's how it works and one thing too that you can um, um, do is
invert and see how the effect goes so one thing you should know um, um how should i put it if you want to get like differences and stuff you can always invert it when i when i inverted this is what i got so i mean yeah you can change you can change any color use any color you want but then if you want it to um, um, effectively apply to the design you have to i mean yeah work around it so here i'll just choose a lighter color that's in the greenish part and and it doesn't necessarily mean using only two colors you can use three colors and make sure you play along with it so here i added another color to it and i think it went very well and yeah so we have three colors here that we have the deeper part that's a the, 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 the deep green then we have the light green and the lightest green yeah and that's how it works so i can even change it to let's say blue and um change the lighter one to to let's say um any color that you think is going to help you i mean get your design give your design a very nice look and everything then when you're done you just hit on okay and you're good to go so um guys yeah thanks for watching the video make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video comment share it to your friends and um yeah so i'll be bringing you more tutorials more reaction videos more food challenges and everything so um yeah and on instagram follow us on rbj underscore creative underscore underscore studio sorry underscore studio yeah so um peace out